Hey up and uh, welcome to the video and you join me at the side of the uh, the River Trent in Nottingham and I planned to drive to the coast this morning and there was the threat of um, fog and mist so I decided to come local for a change and uh, we've got little bits of mist hanging on the river the sun's not up yet so not as much fog and mist as we thought so what I'm doing at the moment I'm doing some long exposures of the power station uh, Ratcliffe on top power station with the, uh, the steam coming out the towers so I'm just playing around with that because it's quite a nice subject the ducks are up disturbing the River Trent. The river's quite calm considering all the rain we've had recently. So, yes, I'm gonna see in a moment if I can move further down once I've got this shot. I'm doing 30 second exposures and uh, I've got the 10 stop on and the sky is very plain so there's nothing in the sky so I've tried to fill the frame with the uh, the power station that's the objective so we're getting a nice uh, long exposure there I'm just playing around with the settings so we're on uh, ISO 250 F9 25 second exposure just to get that uh, vapour coming out of the towers. So I've actually moved further forward now and there's nothing in the foreground and there's a lovely wisp when you look at that shot let me just show you what I've just took it's a lovely wisp of vapor on that left chimney looks really nice the sun is just coming up and it's lighting up the the vapors from the left on the power station i might go up on this bridge actually i've not been up there yet let's just gonna have a look what that's uh, like while well, this light uh, gets better let's go on this bridge bring you with me Yeah, you know what? The view from the bridge is better. Let's get tripod up here, quick. We've got to work quick. Oh my God. Work in the scene, work in the scene. <laughs> I like this angle on the bridge much better because we've got three of the cooling towers just positioned under the uh, bridge you can see in the, uh, the mid-ground. You know when you change your plans and you think you could have been on the coast or you could have been here getting this and you think wow just look what I can get local just look what you can get local brilliant okay let's just stop here and talk about what just happened so I was down below underneath the bridge and this is the shot I took there which didn't work and there's lots of reasons and I'm sure you'll look at this and go yeah I know why this didn't work the nicest thing about this was the vapor plume in the bottom in the reflection everything else was completely uh, not working so if you go back to my reaction there after going on top and I kind of went into headless chicken mode because I could see what was on offer what we was going to get on top of the bridge and this is the image and as soon as I saw it as soon as I walked on top of that bridge I went whoa gotta get up here 
Now, it's really important to critique your own images. It's dead easy to critique other people's, but it's really important to do your own. So let's do a bit of critique on this image. And if we start at the top, the sky is not great. The sky needs some cloud and texture, and that would also lift the reflection in the water. So great sky would solve two things there. After that, um, the vapour coming out of the towers. Those towers have given much bigger volumes of vapour that I've seen, but not on this morning. So more vapour again would fill the sky and it would also reflect into the water. And after that, I think I'm quite happy with that image. There's some leading lines in there from the, the bottom right and from the left, be it they're in the shadows. The position of the power station is just sitting nicely in that position. The plume of vapour going to the left and then reflected in the water is also nice. And then the little lone tree sitting there on the left and reflecting into the water itself. But the main thing that drew me to this shot was the reflection inside the bridge. The three, there's three towers you can just see. When Helen saw that, she says that looks like a television screen. And it does look a bit strange, but that, that is how it was. And that reflection under there, for me, really makes that shot. Uh, you've got the colour. Let's not forget the colour of the sun as well, catching on the vapour. But that shot, um, I really like. And I'm so glad I changed position and went on top of that bridge. Now, what this has also done for me, it's going to make me go back there because I would like to get the same conditions with that added sky and extra vapour coming out of the towers. But it's a shot I'm very, very pleased with. And I'm so glad I went there and didn't go to the coast. What a fantastic morning this is. It's very important to photograph this power station because it's going to be decommissioned sometime. I think it's this year, I'm not sure, but it is going to be decommissioned. So it's really important to get these shots because maybe in a couple of years time we won't have these cooling towers standing, they'll be, uh, they'll be demolished. So very important subject to photograph. Right, God, move around a bit more now. And uh, I've got a tree in the left. I've now got a 10 stop and a three stop on. So I've got 13 stops of light, 30 second exposure, F11, ISO 125. And it's giving me this very, very nice shot. The mist is coming across the river. We've got the vapour in the towers. We've got the sun blazing from the left of the shot. And in the foreground, we have two frozen benches. And I don't know if I can bring them out in post-processing. If I can, they're gonna make some really, really nice foreground, but I can't tell that till they get home. And that does make, I think that makes for a nice shot. And while these conditions are holding, I'm gonna move again. Now I've got that. Let's move again. I'm just checking the focusing on this. And I focused on the tree because of the background. Let's have a look. Yeah, I like that. I cannot even see if the... Um, I can't see if those benches are actually in, in shot. I think they are. So, let's... Uh, we do have behind us, we've got a boat there, a long boat. Let's see if we can bring that into the frame. I'm going to do one more shot here. I think the ducks are following me, bless them. But, uh, 
very nice conditions there's a shot there look reflection of the building that looks quite nice we're not going to take it let's concentrate let's concentrate on what's in front of us and not get distracted what a gorgeous morning gorgeous morning superb conditions okay next composition so the first one uh, I took here there was too much tree for me on the left hand side too much tree in the shot so I move round and by moving round I got these two benches in the foreground and there was less tree and more of the plume of uh, vapour so I felt this one uh, worked better than the first shot there nice reflection but again sky reflected into the water another one to go back for okay let's move back i think there's another comp uh, with this boat gotta move quick back into this position mm, i don't like this as much as the previous one to be honest i've took it but at least for me it's good because i've got foreground in i'm just looking down the river i don't think there's going to be anything better than what i've got i don't think there's anything else to comb in this area i might just walk i might just walk a bit further down i might but uh, let's see how this shot comes out actually it's better than a thought we have got the sun in the left hand side of the shot which is really burning now so it's kind of telling us that that time's nearly up i'm just going to do one more we're at 30 second exposure we've got the 10 stop and the three stop on so they're doing a really good job the first one of the boat didn't quite work for me I felt it's a little bit cluttered in the uh, foreground too much in the foreground but the second one did work for me the two posts are acting as a frame for the power station then we've got the boat on the left hand side then we've got the brightness of the Sun coming in from the left of the shot so that for me was the better of the two at this point well this location just keeps giving as I just keep moving around other alternative compositions just fall into place and it's it's turning into a very pleasurable walk this morning it really is and finally we've moved further up and now we've got a shot of the boat on the left we've now got some trees on the right which are supporting the right hand side of the shot and uh, we've managed to get a sun star uh, on the left there just below the plume of vapor and i do like that shot i really do like that shot and again sky reflected into water is going to be great so that is the third shot is it the third shot that we're going to go back for and improve on the compositions and it's not necessarily the compositions itself it's the content that needs to be in there that we want to capture the missing ingredients that's what we're looking for to improve these shots i did do another one there and uh, this time we've got a tree on the left and again the sun is poking through and uh, reflection not so strong this image color wise it's not so uh, this probably would look better black and white so a really interesting morning uh, changing my mind at the last minute and i tend to do plan trips in advance and i plan to go to the coast everything was ready to go and just looking at that weather forecast changed my mind and i ended up getting these shots and it was uh, for me it was a good decision i'm still going to go to that coast uh, in the future but i'm also going to go back to this location it's 20 minutes away 
from where I live so I can get down there and go and improve on these shots hopefully get the conditions to align to get the perfect shots of that location no location will be kept secret on this channel so this is Trent Lock right next to the River Trent in Nottingham junction 24 of the M1 this is for your sat nav to get you there it's a free car park there's a pub and all these compositions you've seen on the video are within five to ten minutes walking distance from where your car is so it's a great location that power station is going to be decommissioned sometime this year so uh, it's shots that you're not going to get in the future so now is the time to come down to Nottingham you're very welcome we're a friendly bunch down here most of us and uh, take some shots of this power station there's lots of other viewpoints you can get shots of the power station but I happen to like this one because the parking is free okay thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber pop a comment in the bottom give the video a like share the video pop down to Nottingham and have a go yourself you're very welcome uh, we'll finish on a recap of the images and on that note I'll see you later on the next one Thank you.